Hey there guys, we're going to show you some stuff today. Um, some things I picked up this morning at the NSLC and a book I got a week ago or so on order. Uh, first we're going to go to the Veers, I guess, and we'll let the uh, mystery book sort of stew over here and uh, excite your, uh, your interest. Um, so a couple of these things are just winter seasonals and then there's some other things here that I think are going to be permanent uh, residents in the NSLC and really the NSLC really came up in spades this time around this year uh, usually we hardly get crap during any season but we've got a whole slew of stuff and there's even some more stuff coming in and I'll talk about that in a minute okay first thing uh, another Vancouver uh, brew uh, I can't think of the name of the one Spring Valley or something like that. Um, you, you, it's a few reviews back, but it was uh, it was a uh, Vancouver brew. Here's uh, Granville Island from Vancouver, 5.5% alcohol by volume. It's their Lions Winter Ale. This is their winter specialty. Uh, winter Ale combines premium malt with aromatic specialty hops, vanilla-like finish. Yada yada yada. Very cool, it even gets food pairings on it. So I'm looking forward to trying that. This, this comes in six packs, around 12 bucks. Uh, two selections from Cremor Springs, now owned by Molson, but uh, don't hold that against them because Molson have kicked their fingers out of the actual brewing process. Uh, this I have already had. Um, Cremor Springs Premium Lager, that's their standard lager. Pretty world famous, even Michael Jackson listed in his great beer book. Uh, here's their traditional Pilsner, and that's new to me. Uh, the lagers is 5%, traditional Pilsner 5.3% alcohol by volume. So, two beers from Creamore Springs. Very, very cool. Uh, here's one, Rolling Rock, the official beer of the uh, uh, Angry Video Game Nerd. Well, I don't know if it's his official beer. He should be. <laughs> it should sponsor him, really, all the times he drinks it. Um, from Latrobe Brewing, of course, they were bought by Anheuser-Busch. I don't know... This this one here is actually brewed by Labatt, contract brewed here in for Canada. This is actually my brother's can. I just stole it from him to do this video because I didn't pick this up this morning. Um, okay, we'll put that aside. Let's put it over here. And Garrison's Winter Warmer comes out every year. I've reviewed it twice now on the channel. Probably not going to review it this year. I doubt it's going to be any different. Oh, wait a second here. Let's see what it says. Maybe I will review it this, this summer and again. Specialty brewed of clove, cinnamon, demerara sugar, festive strong ale, 6.5%. I'm going to have to check and see if uh, this is different. I'm, I'm thinking it was 6.8% or something like that before. I'm going to have to check a, take a check. Anyway, the, the, these are back in the store and in singles. Um, if you buy it, be wary. The foil top seems to be quite loose this year, so don't grab it from the top and try to put it in your basket or your cart or whatever. I've also purchased uh, several other of these. Um, one I'm sending to uh, uh, Mr. Grim Viking, and another one I'm sending to uh, Mr. and Mrs. Real Ale Guide. So, beer trade of Grim Viking. I'm just sending sort of like a little mini gift package to uh, Mr. and Mrs. Real Ale Guide. Alright. So that'll be cool. Uh, and the real uh, piece de resistance, I guess, of the uh, selection this morning. The Discovery Pack from the McOsquin Brewery. St. Ambrose Discovery Pack. Uh, of course it comes with the glass, which I'm really, really excited for. You see, I got it drying here. Because I want to use it on one of the beers I've already reviewed. It comes with three beers. Uh, I think I've reviewed every beer in this pack, though. Um, it comes with the apricot wheat, which is a decent damn beer, decent damn fruit beer. Depends on you like if you like apricots or not. Um, their standard pale ale, which is pretty good, and it says their Scotch ale. 7.5%. I'm pretty damn sure I've already reviewed this or a version of it. Uh, some people who followed this channel for a long time may recall I had a couple of these specialty St. Ambrose uh, single bottles that came in these plas in these tubes. Um, 
they were just like I don't even know how they got in the NSLC. It was just like some freaky coincidence that they showed up there and I picked up a bunch of them. But they had their uh, anniversary uh, barley wine, I think it is, and I'm pretty sure the other one was the Scotch Ale. So I think this might be the same beer. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on this one and see. I'm hoping it's different. I think I'll just review it again anyway, just for the hell of it. All right, and the other beers that are gonna be showing up. Um, well, actually, there's one there now. They just don't have it on the shelf. Uh, Tuborg Pilsner. Uh, we just get the Tuborg Gold, or we have been getting the Tuborg Gold. Uh, Tuborg Pilsner, apparently slightly different. Uh, I'm kind of interested in trying that. The, the guy offered to go out in the pallet and grab me some, but I was like, no, I'll come back and get them later. I'm more excited about this stuff here first. But I will eventually get around to that. Also, um, I'm probably going to butcher the name, Hacker Peshore Wheat Beer, I guess. That's showing up sometime soon. They have a little sign there saying coming soon. Of course, that sometimes means it's coming in like three or four months, but uh, uh, it is coming. And um, the other one, Chimay Premier, uh, Chimay Red in the big bottles. Uh, I have n I have had Chimay Red before, I'm pretty damn sure, uh, years and years ago in the small bottles in a gift pack but um, I have never had it in the big bottle and I've never done a review for it so that will sort of complete my Chimay reviews. I, I can't get the Chimay de Dior, uh, Chimay Gold or whatever that's only sold at the uh, brewery but uh, that will be cool for the channel. And finally the book. What is it? The Oxford Companion to Beer edited by Garrett Oliver who is the head brewmaster at uh, Brooklyn Brewery, and he's a pretty famous uh, sort of beer guy. Uh, I think everyone pretty much knows who he is, even if they only know him as that black beer guy. <laughs> um, so I paid six. Well, I didn't pay sixty-five dollars for this. It is sixty-five dollars for the hardcover, um, but I had a sixty-dollar gift certificate, so I I was saving it for something big, and this turned out to be what I was saving it for. Uh, it's even got a <laughs> it's even got a promotional quote, quote from Adam Richman there from Man vs. Food on the back here. Weird. Um, but anyway, very, very cool. It's presented like an encyclopedia. Very thick, big book. Oxford Companion to Beer. I have a feeling uh, some reviews say there are some inaccuracies in this. And I have a feeling this is going to be like the first edition of others to come. Uh, this is like... Despite the fact that there might be a couple little errors in here, this is the first time you're really going to find a book like this compiled. It's like everything you wanted to know about beer but were afraid to ask or didn't know better to ask or couldn't find on Google. Um, of course, it's all, it's all mostly concise, small articles, uh, just like a good encyclopedia. Some of them are lengthy, but uh, and there are the occasional pictures here and there. Um, but it covers all the major breweries, um, covers some major beer brands, uh, covers all the hops, talks about their chemical makeup, their flavors, everything like that, talks about all different beer ingredients, uh, even does biographies on um, some famous people in the beer in the, in the beer world. Uh, it's like it's got Porter here, the history of Porter, um, Ringwood hops. Sweden, it even lists countries, famous beer countries. Suntory Group from Japan. Um, even has a biography of like Michael Jackson. Uh, this is basically compiled by Garrett, Garrett Oliver, all these uh, beer writers, famous beer writers, beer reviewers. Even Zach Avery contributes to this. Um, but uh, yeah, of course, Michael Jackson was dead before this was started so uh, he did not contribute an actual, any actual articles but a lot of the articles you'll find actually reference his writing so it's pretty cool um, Garrett Alfer also uh, writes kind of some stuff in here France Frambois uh, so a few color pictures in the middle here very very cool it's like the ultimate bathroom book coffee table kind of book where you just can pick it up and move and flip to any page and find something interesting to, to read. Uh, very very cool stuff. Uh, I'm I'm already <laughs> I have trouble putting it down when I uh, start picking it up. I've only scratched the surface too on this thing. American hops, American brown ale. 
all kinds of different beer styles, beer ingredients, women in beer, ginger beer, glassware, green bullet hops, uh, even has in the back here has a conversion table. It lists um, websites, beer websites, uh, lists uh, uh, big um, fest beer festivals. It has a conversion factor for you know uh, how you can how you can convert acres to hectares, kilograms per square centimeter to atmospheres, liters to fluid ounces, imperial in U.S ounces to gallons, etc, etc. Very, very useful. Especially for a home brewer. Um, yeah, it's really, really great. Well, well, it's well worth the money. I paid for it, and it would have been well worth paying the full price for it, too, if I had had to do that. And I wasn't... <laughs> I would have if I hadn't had the uh, gift certificate. Anyway, so... Yeah, that's about it right now. Um, I'm expecting some other seasonals to show up. Uh, the gear, oh yeah, the Garrison Mix Six Pack showed up. Um, I was almost tempted to pick one of those up, but uh, there wasn't anything really in it. It was all stuff I had before. If if it had been the one with the jalapeno ale in it, then I would have picked it up. But and it did have Martello Stout in it, but just in the small bottles. So I'm hoping that we get the Martello Stout in the 500 milliliter bottles again, and I'll be putting those together with the winter warmers for the beer mails I'm sending out. Um, that's about it guys uh, we'll see you later uh, probably one or two of these reviews will be up this weekend at the very earliest alright guys we'll see you later